Hey, what's up everybody? Dr. Core here. And so we just did a upper body banded warm up, and today's goal we're going to continue with doing the legs, the abs, and the arms. So I just took the bands off my arms. We got the bands strapped onto my legs. Now I'm going to show you how to do a great leg, ab, and arm workout in the comfort of your own home. Check this out. Okay, so we got the leg bands on, right? Bam, we got left one on. Bam, we got the right one on. We got the Katsu Cycle 2.0. I'll show you how to turn it off. Okay, cool, so we're gonna go to Pro. Hi. Hi, let's do this. Okay, starting off with a little TRX squats. Now you can have a bench here, give you some cues of how low you wanna go, but you'll find real quickly that you'll wanna go a little bit lower. So what I mean by that is gives you something to sit on in case you fall. I'm gonna take the TRX, it's about knee level off the ground, maybe about a foot or so. Slide the bench back and ever so gently just sit down and stand up. So arms are bent, elbows are bent as you stand up. Lean back a little bit, just sit down, tap your butt, let your arms straighten out and back up. So you can use a normal chair for this. Nice and simple, right? Okay, not bad, all right. Okay, so squat down, tap your butt, come up, you can even go up on your toes, good. So down, tap, up, and using your arms to really kind of gauge where you're at, use them for balance. You can use them, give a little bit of extra pull, get those arms going, a little squat row. One of the best exercises you can do with TRX. So functional, so simple. So easy, so effective. TRX squat row. All right, now, you say, Corey, that's pretty easy. Good. I'm gonna move this out of the way. I'm gonna show you how to do that a little bit harder now. We're gonna take this down a couple of notches here so you can really see my feet. Back to the TRX. All right, all right, all right. Now we're gonna go a nice wide base. You guys, you need to see my feet. You need to see what my feet are doing. Feet are the most important part of this whole thing. If your feet aren't in check, everything else falls apart. Okay, so wide base. Okay, toes out wide. And you're just squatting, coming up. Okay, so down and up. Down and up. And now you'll notice you can get into a deeper squat, deep squat. Because you're using your arms, because you're leaning back a little bit, it mimics that whole lifted heel sort of position. So when you squat down, you don't want your knees to go too far past your toe line. So use your hips to push back, push that butt back, and then stand up. So down and up, down and up. Simple, piece of cake, right? Down and up. Okay, good. So then go up on your toes. Heels and up on toes. Back to the heels, up on toes. So the cycle is doing its thing. I don't have to think about it. I don't have to worry about it. I don't have to do anything. I just set it and forget it. And it goes through the different pressures, different cycles. And I just do my workout. I don't really even count anymore. I know how much I have done in my head, but there's so much going on right now. I kind of zone out and it's kind of nice. So arms are straight when you squat down, use your arms to pull yourself up. All right, my legs are burning a little bit. We'll do a couple rows, a couple bicep curls. Remember, abs and arms and legs, whole thing, basically full body. Everything from the top down, all the important stuff, right? So from now what I'm doing here is I'm just doing like an underhand row, really getting my biceps pumped up, get those guys going. Okay, we're gonna go back to some legs. This time we're gonna do a jump squat. Now don't do these unless your legs can handle it. Start light and then gradually build up into a little bit more. But again, with this beautiful TRX system, you can do stuff like this. So squat down and up. Nice 
and light. Jump squats. Jump. And you want to spend as little amount of time on the ground as possible. So once those muscles stretch, you're shooting back up, okay? So think about you're on hot coals. Hot coals. Hot. So a little bend and flip your hips. Up. Gradually getting deeper and higher and higher. And then you can rep out those legs again if you want. Woo. Getting tired. Okay, where are we at here? Cycle number six. Okay. I told you guys, legs and abs and arms, I don't know. I'm starting to lose count. But we're gonna go back and do another set of the rollout because this is probably one of the best ab exercises. Stretching my hips out a little bit while I'm talking. Basically stalling to catch my breath. We're all cycle, uh, cycle six. Six cycles. Okay, so again, it's all in the hips, okay? So wiggle those hips. I'm pushing down on the T-Rex. You always wanna keep tension on this guy, okay? You don't want the bands to be loose. Keep it tight. So you go out to the roll out. Roll out. Ugh. Now, I really want you guys to see my stomach here. So I'm gonna bite onto my shirt. Main thing is, is when you roll out, really hollow your stomach out. So if you go out, shuck. Relax and breathe. Oh, shuck. Okay, so really suck it in. Tuck your pelvis under. So you wanna push to your pelvic tilt. Oh, don't arch your back. Don't do that. Oh, that even hurts just trying that. Don't do that. That'll jack up your lumbar spine. So as you come through, really squeeze your butt like you're holding a poop in, suck your belly in, and come out, okay? So everything from your knees to your shoulders should be nice and tight, oh, tight. And then you can play around with your feet and you can move a little bit faster. So when you fall into a rollout, you'll feel those abs basically catch you from falling and bending in half. And again, this one's hard. So don't just jump into this exercise. This is something that you're probably going to need to work up to for a little while. Good old TRX roll out. Okay, what are we doing here? We're on cycle eight. So while this finishes up that last cycle, I'm just gonna do some jump roping. So I like to do double taps. And I subconsciously hang on to this thing because I don't want it to fall off my belt and break. It'd be heartbreaking, you know. So just going through and doing jump rope in, soft toes, strong legs. You can do a little lateral motion. You can do the old stagger step. Just pump those calves. All right, now here comes the best part. We've done a cycle for the arms. Uh, actually, two cycles for the arms. We did a cycle for the legs. I feel great. I can call it right now. My muscles are tired, but I still have some time. So I'm gonna show you a great leg and ab. 